Okay guys, hello everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today so far. Um, so yeah, today we have a scan of V-Jump, you know, this month's V-Jump that shows off DLC 6 slash Extra Pack 2 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And if I refer to it as DLC 6 or Extra Pack 2, just know that they're the same thing. I'll just call DLC 6, if it's easy to say. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we have the scan. So the first thing that you're gonna notice, of course, is Jiren. Now, even though he, you know, he was like, after DLC 5 came out, slash Extra Pack 1, even though he was found in the files as GRN, there's actually still quite a bit of, I guess, like, what, like what, skepticism that people thought that he wasn't going to be in, but no, right here, officially confirmed, revealed, what you wanna call it, Jiren is here. And to his, well, on, well, I'm just trying to think, because look at his form on his right hand. Yeah, whatever. Um, you can see he's got a meditation uh, super skill, and this, again, was found in the data of Extra Pack 1. Now, I forget who it was, so I do apologise if you're watching this, but someone said on Twitter that, um, well, they said that, what if this is a new charge ability? And I never even considered that. I was just thinking that it's going to be some sort of, you know, something similar to what, you know, like a fighting portal's skill is. Like, maybe it would increase your defense or speed or something, I don't know. And I should mention this, it could be something like that, but I like the idea of it, you know, of it being a charge ability much, much more. Now, if it, much, much more, great grammar. I, our great grammar, what? Um, um, yeah, and one thing about it is that, well, if it is a charge ability, what could it give you like a bonus in? Like, I'm thinking, well, what if it's a stamina version of Divinity Unleashed? Again, as of right now, we don't know. It could be something completely different. It could be some sort of counter attack. I don't know. Um, actually, well, thinking about it, if you look at the, um, like the, um, well, I guess like the screenshot above and below it, He's, you know, he does look like he's in like the same position, so maybe it could be some sort of ability. I mean, we do know it's called MED, like that's the, I guess like the data name or whatever, so it's going to be something like Meditate, Meditation or something like that. Again, we don't know. It's going to be very interesting though, I will say that. And also guys, I probably should have mentioned it at the, yeah, at the start, but massive thank you to Shining Games for this screenshot of the, um, you know, this month's V-Jump. Uh, yeah, yeah, much love to Shining Games there. Okay, and of course, uh, the elephant in the room here is Super Saiyan Blue for created characters, or rather for male and female Saiyan avatars. If you see right here, your bottom left, uh, yes, I mean, it's Super Saiyan Blue, it's now officially been confirmed. And the reason why I'm now saying officially confirmed is because, what, well, you even saying that right now, look, as of you know, when this video gets uploaded, I don't think that's true because as of right now, V-Jump hasn't actually been released, it's just been leaked. I think it gets released on the 21st of each month, I'm not entirely sure, but it tends to get leaked from like anywhere from like the 14th to the 21st, so I'll just give that in mind. Uh, but before this, it was just in the, you know, in like the um, data, so it wasn't really confirmed, but now it, it, you know, now it's confirmed, unfortunately, it does look like hair, it's still, you know, like the hair still won't spike, but I think we've all come to accept that for Zeniverse 2, unfortunately. Um, but what's interesting is, the screenshot above it. Now, it definitely is in game, I think. Or is it Hero Mode? I don't know. But Goku is doing something very strange. I don't know what this is. Like, maybe, like, is this how you unlock Super Saiyan Blue for your avatars? Like, you get five Saiyans, you know, one would include Goku to do the ritual or something, and then you get the skill that way. We don't know. Again, we'll have to wait and see, but it looks very interesting what Goku's doing there. Um, oh, yeah, and something else, like, I don't know why it's not on here, but of course. As you can see, Ultra Instant Goku is nowhere to be seen on this scan. But keep in mind, guys, that if this is going to be indeed released at the end of Nove uh, November, at the end of February 2018, we still have one more V-Jump to go, which will come out around this time next month. You now, about like four weeks from right now. It's typically like the 16th or 17th or like the 18th when it gets leaked. So just keep that in mind, guys. So I'm sure we'll see Ultra Instant Goku there. Um, they may have you know, waited to, um, you know, waiting for next month because, of course, fighters will come out soon, you know, this is, a, well, this is the last V-Jump that we're going to get before fighters is released, so maybe they didn't want to, I don't know, like, say, oh, it's, this is in uh, Xenoverse, but it's not in, um, fighters at launch or something, I don't know, but, again, we'll have to wait and see, and also, here we have Fidel and, um, Android, um, 18 in a bikini, 
Kappa HD. Um, yeah. Again, this is probably... Actually, well, I don't know, like... Looking at it, it looks like it's the trendy bikini that you could get from the World Tournament, which right now you can't get. But it kind of looks like that, like the... Um, like the emblem is on the um, like the top piece, like on the left. Um, so I don't know if it's just that you can... Yeah, I don't know if it's just like new presets of 18 and Videl, or if it's just that you can indeed customise them. Because, I mean, they're both mental, so it would make sense that you can change the clothes, I guess. But I just find it a bit funny how it's like in a bikini. Um, yeah, just very funny indeed there. Um, yeah, and also we've got Ranger, Android 17. Not too much to say, well, actually, no, I mean, it looks like he's got two new skills, but I'd say in the top right there, it kind of looks like the poles that Super 17 does after firing his ultimate, the Shocking, is it the Shocking Death Ball? Yeah, what it's called, Revenge Death Ball, what it, you know, yeah, I think it's the Shocking Death Ball, or, or Shocking Revenge Death Ball, I don't know, I don't care, um, it kind of looks like that pose, but of course, it's not that attack because, you know, the Death Ball itself is nowhere to be seen. Uh, and also I've got like this new so-called barrier-esque looking skill here. Um, it does look new. I don't think it's um, so-called barrier. I just think it's something new, like a, a, like a super ability, like a super skill rather of his evasive, something like that. I don't know. Um, can be interesting to see regardless. And also, of course, we have Foo. Now it really does feel like Foo was introduced in Xenoverse 2. Really, to set up for Xenoverse 3, I'm sorry, I've just got to say, it really does feel like he was introduced just for that reason. Like, of course, I'm thinking that the story mode isn't going to wrap up nicely here. Like, it's going to be left on some sort of cliffhanger, which will probably be resolved in, or, you know, like, Anderson or something like that, in, of course, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. And very quickly about Xenoverse 3, yes, as of right now, it's not been confirmed in any way, shape, or form. But given the Xenoverse franchise, and especially Xenoverse 2, has sold phenomenally well, it's going to happen at some point. The question now isn't if, it's more so when. And I'd say 2019, 2020 for an actual release. Again, we have to wait and see. I will be covering it when it does actually get leaked and stuff like that. So stay tuned, I don't know. Uh, I was going uh, like, to go right up to the mic then. I was thinking, no, uh, let's just keep a bit chill here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but what I find very interesting here is, as you can see, the second screenshot, the middle one, of Fu and the Time Patroller, um, well, firstly, it kind of looks like they're working together, super massive big question mark. But again, in the second screenshot, it does look like a new map, maybe? Well, not a new map, but it looks like them outside of the universe, like, spoilers for Dragon Ball Super, the English dub, if you guys are watching that. But it looks like the arena, well, I said the arena, <laughs> wow. Yeah, guys, it's an arena, apparently, Jesus. No, it looks like the future timeline after future Zeno, Zeno, what you want to call him, destroys it, like the sparkling place, but it's something like where Goku and Trunks go to pick him up, to bring him to the present, to take him to the present, Zeno, and then, you know, of course, that's set up for the Universal Survival arc. It looks like that, but it also kind of looks like the Time Chamber, but maybe not really. I don't know, but something, like, if this is like a new map or something, I do hope we can actually use it, because there's actually a few stages in the game right now that are locked behind, you know, I mean, just in story mode. And I think there's like one that's just in the, um, in PQs. I think it's a freezer ship. Uh, yeah, yeah, freezer spaceship. Why we can't have them to use online, I have no idea. Who knows, one day maybe. Um, so yeah. Very interesting stuff right there, and I just absolutely love, like I really do love how Jiren looks, apart from his weird form on his right hand, <laughs> but we'll gain that never, I guess, I don't know. But I'll say that, but if you look at the screenshot of Buffy, it looks normal there, like if you zoom in, as he's going for the power impact, um, yeah, I don't know. But I love like the bottom, or like I guess like the third uh, screenshot of him, like looking up, like as if he's you know, charging up his power impact or whatever the attack's going to be called. He looks spot on there, like fantastic. Abs and that might not be saying a lot, given that June looks like a very generic character, you know, character, like an alien. I the mail in the comments. Uh, um, but yeah, I mean, this is really good stuff. I'm really excited for this pack. I really, really, really am. Now, just to close out the video here, I do want to mention that there's a possibility that we might be getting additional content beyond Extra Pack 2 in presumably the form of Extra Pack 3 and maybe Extra Pack 4. And the reason why I say this is because, well, A, there's actually quite a lot of characters 
Taking Super out of the equation, there's a lot of characters that they can still add in for Xenoverse 2 and B. If you guys remember in the Extra Pack 1 slash DLC 5 live stream, from like when was it, like November 2017, you know, there's talking to the producer of the game and he said that, uh, look, so I forget exactly what he said, but he basically said that there's a, you know, there's a possibility for more content after DLC 6 has been released, but they're looking into it. But what's interesting there is that they didn't outright say no, so maybe, we don't know. I mean, again, Xenoverse 3 is going to happen. Will it be revealed this year? I doubt it. Um, I do think we'll get a new Dragon Ball game announcement that isn't Xenoverse or Fighters related this year in about May or June-ish. What will that be? We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I will cover that 100%. Um, but yeah, again, guys... There's, there is a possibility that there will be additional DLC for Xenoverse 2, but don't take that as a gospel, it's just me talking here, we don't know for sure. So guys, with that being said, I will end the video here, thank you for watching, let me know what you think of this update, if you're excited for it, if you just don't care, because of fighters, and guys, with that being said, I'll see you next time.